Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Lululemon City Adventure Backpack, but before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. And if you guys are looking for a backpack, I do have a full Lululemon backpack playlist where I've reviewed a bunch of backpacks there. You can find that playlist at the top right or in the description below. So I have this in the color black graphite gray and it currently goes for $128. We do have some branding on the zipper pulls here. It does say Lululemon kind of engraved in the metal. There's also branding right here. We have a nice big Lulu going across. And then we also have a metal logo right here, my favorite type of logo to see. Finally, coming over to these zipper pulls at the back here, there is a very small Lululemon right here engraved on the zipper pulls. So a good amount of branding on this bag if you're someone who does like to see apparent branding. Like me, you will be happy about that. So now I'm gonna show you all around and inside this bag. So the first thing we have is, we have a bottom pocket right here goes right along and you see this part which is from the top storage so next we do have a top zipper pocket so inside the bag here we do have this large storage space and then we have one zippered pocket going across we do also have a hair tie zipper pull which is always great to have if you need a hair tie on the go. And then we can see some more Lululemon branding in kind of a silicone material. And on the inside of that, it does say items of importance. So at the back here, we have two separate pockets. Right here on this side, we have a little water bottle pocket is what Lululemon calls it. And then on this side, we have a much larger pocket for holding your laptop or your tablets. And also at the back, we do find our straps and we have a little suitcase sleeve. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. So when it does come to comfort about this bag, I think it's decently comfortable, but I would not put a bunch of heavy items in here because the straps are very, very lightly padded. Like, it's so thin, it's like the bare minimum of padding in my opinion. But I do like that they are adjustable, so you can definitely go ahead and loosen it or tighten it if you want to. And one great thing is that when you do tighten it or loosen it, it stays in place, it does not loosen up on you. And it does have this little kind of strap here to help keep um, this part in check so it's not sliding around on you. And here's what it looks like with the straps a lot looser. It kind of goes a lot lower on me. And if you guys are interested in my outfit information at all, you can always find my full outfit information in the description below. All right, guys, so I hope you did find it helpful seeing me try on this bag. Now I'm gonna go into the highlights about this backpack. It's great for the gym, work, on the go, travel. And this can be used for school, but there are better options for school, in my opinion, from Lululemon. It has a water repellent fabric, a spacious 20 liter capacity, separate pockets for organization. It has a laptop pocket that can hold up to a 16 inch laptop, slightly padded adjustable straps at the back. It has a suitcase or trolley sleeve at the back. And the dimensions of this bag are 11.4 inches by 7.1 inches by 6.1 inches. Now I'm gonna show you guys what this backpack can hold. You know what I would typically put inside of my backpack? So I'm gonna pack this as if I were traveling, you know, going on an airplane, for example, because I think this is a fantastic bag for traveling. So when you are using the City of Venture, I highly recommend packing the bottom first because when you pack the top, this part, which is like the lining for the interior pocket, it gets really low and it makes it hard to put items in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is actually put my toiletries in the bottom here. Typically your toiletry bags are quite flat. So I have with me this little bag which I have some toiletries in here. So I put it in like that. And then beside that, I have this much bigger bag of toiletries. So I'm gonna put that right beside my other little toiletries bag. And they both fit in the bottom here. So now I'm gonna zip it shut. So there we go. And I like putting the toiletries in because once that's in, your bag is kind of standing, you know, flat for you, which makes it a bit easier to put in the rest of the items. So now let's fill up this top pocket. 
So I have a pair of leggings, Wonder Train Contour Fit, and I also have with me a jacket. So this is an always effortless jacket, kind of the older design. I love using these jackets, like traveling with them, because you can fold them up a million ways and they don't really get all crinkled. <laughs> Um, they just kind of stay nice and they look effortless. So I'm going to put that on top. If you guys are interested in either of these, I have done a review on both of them. So the next thing I'm going to do is since I'm traveling, I'm going to bring my passport with me. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the little zippered pocket right here. And then I also have my mini wallet, which I'm going to put beside that in the same pocket. And when I'm traveling, I actually do like to bring typically like a notebook or a planner or something so I can kind of keep myself organized. So I have a little notebook here I'm going to put in here as well. So that's all I'm going to put into this pocket. Now coming over to the back, I'm gonna go ahead and put my laptop in this laptop pocket right here. I do have with me a Surface laptop and this is 13.5 inches. Once again, I have done a full review on that. <laughs> I review a lot of tech and Lululemon on my channel, guys. So I'm gonna leave that by itself. Now, at the side here, the other zippered pocket, we have what Lululemon calls a water bottle pocket, but I'm gonna let you guys know, as a water bottle pocket, it sucks. <laughs> this cannot fit hardly any water bottles, guys. I have a standard 500 milliliter water bottle. It can barely fit. So I'm gonna put this in here. But if you have anything bigger, like if you have a mug, or if you have a shaker bottle, or if you have a larger water bottle, like my Contigo water bottle, I show you guys in a lot of my review, that's not gonna fit in here. This pocket is quite small. So I actually use it for my phone instead. So it fits phones pretty well. I'm gonna put mine in here. And then beside my phone, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some headphones in here. Cause when I'm traveling, I always bring headphones that have you know, noise cancellation so I can cancel out, you know. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick a sanitizer in here as well. Cause I always like to bring them with me. This bag is now full and this is what it looks like full from the side, from the front, from the other side, in the back. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of a suitcase demo. So all you need to do, slide the strap through your suitcase handle and now it is on it. It is secure. I'm just gonna shake it a bit. <laughs> so if I'm in a hurry and you know, I'm running away, trying to catch my flight, this is staying in place. No matter what you're doing, it is solid. If you didn't have that, you're just, you know, going along. You're trying to balance it. You're trying to hold both and your backpack, you know, slides all around and it's just, it's a hassle and a headache. So whenever I'm looking for backpacks for travel or bags for travel in general, I always make sure they do have that strap right here because it's super handy, guys. And now I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little zipper demo, starting with the main pocket here. Bottom pocket. Same thing. And these all have kind of like a plastic zipper. In my opinion, the plastic zippers are typically smoother on Lululemon bags than the metal ones. So now we have the side pocket here. And then we have the laptop pocket. All of the zippers on this bag are nice and smooth. So now I'm gonna show you a size comparison between the Lululemon City Adventure Backpack 20 liter and the Lululemon City Adventure Backpack Mini. So here we have both backpacks kind of side by side. And it has differences in design. So one thing you might notice is that, you know, this is definitely smaller than this is. This has metal zippers, this has plastic zippers. And just for your reference, this is $98 and this is $128. And here we have an 11 liter capacity and here we have a 20 liter capacity. This one has padded straps, this one does not. And this one has a suitcase strap and this one does not. And this one, we have a nice big phone pocket and we do have a water bottle pocket on the inside here. 
Here we do not I have done a full review on the mini adventurer here. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this bag, you can find that full review on the top right or in the description below when you're done watching this. So the first con for me about this bag is that the bottom part here gets wrinkled very easily and I just don't like the appearance of that. And it makes this otherwise awesome looking logo kind of like squished looking. As you guys can see, it's just wrinkly all the time and I just wish it was straight. Another con for me is that the back straps here, they have the skinniest padding you will ever see. I think it's just enough for Lululemon to say it's padded, but you know, the padding here is not very comfortable to wear if you are lugging around heavy items and if you're wearing it for hours on end. So that's one reason why I said not great for school because with school you need good straps, nice padded comfortable straps which we don't have here. And I don't like that the top strap has no padding as well because if you're carrying your bag like this, it gets very uncomfortable very quickly. Another con for me is the design. Like I don't understand why they didn't add a water bottle pocket on the inside like we have on the mini. This pocket is very small and it doesn't hold many water bottles in here. I think it would have been smarter to have this interior pocket just end here instead of having it go all the way into this bottom pocket because you know we have this going all the way down and it really kind of messes up your storage ability in the bottom here because we can't carry as much as you could have if this pocket would have stopped here instead of extending all the way down. Another con for me is the price. I definitely find this expensive for the size we're getting here and the features that are in this bag, especially, you know, with the thin padding <laughs> that we have. I would have liked to see this cheaper by a bit. And the final con for me is that this material does attract pet hair and lint and crumbs quite easily. So you do have to keep that in mind because you'll need to constantly, you know, lint roll your bag and wipe it down to make sure it's looking good. Especially if you do have a pet like I do who loves to, you know, rub herself and sit on bags and stuff. All right guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the capacity, the comfort, the functionality, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this a 7.9 out of 10. I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to get the Lululemon City Adventurer Backpack 20 liter, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.